Oh hey. my goodness! Oh my god! Like I always say, Uncle Sam, god damn. Hey guys, welcome to Cooking Up Something Good, where we recreate food experiences from iconic establishments around the world. I'm Adi. I'm Sakif. And today, we're heading to Halal Guys. But before we head over to the Big Apple, we'd like to give a special shout out to our sponsors, Two Men Bagel House and Carhartt. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video. We love y'all. And let's get cooking. So we've always been huge fans of fast food establishments from around the world, especially in the US. In fact, we were supposed to take a trip over and then the pandemic hit. So we decided, you know what? Quack it. We're gonna recreate those experiences right here in Singapore. And we're headed to New York. And there's certainly nothing you can do as proven by the Halal Guys, who started off as a streetcar on the corners of 53rd and 6th, who has grown to be America's second highest grossing ethnic restaurant. So they've been around for 30 years and they're really the epitome of the American dream. So today we're gonna recreate one of the most iconic dishes, the gyro beef platter. What's in a gyro beef platter, I hear you asking there. What, oh, what is it, tell us, What is it? Oh, what is it, tell us, please? Oh, I'll, I'll tell you, buddy. Yellow fragrant rice, mm. pita bread, lettuce, tomatoes, capsicums, the iconic red and white sauce, and the pièce de résistance, the gyro beef. Cooked traditionally on a vertical rotisserie, Gyro meat is a heavily spiced cone of meat that is heavily sliced and then cooked on a plancha. So uh, where's the rotisserie, my guy? Fortunately, we don't have a rotisserie, but we do have a loaf pan and we're going to use that to cook meat. Ah, it's like the age-old saying goes, when life gives you loaf pans, you don't need a rotisserie. It's actually a very good saying. I'm very surprised yes. by you. Thanks, man. Who yeah. said that? Uh, Winston Churchill. Yeah. What? Give me that. Oh, yeah. I don't know, buddy. First up, we're gonna put the minced beef in the food processor. Put it in. You've done this before, bro? I haven't. I just like to play the meat. Yeah, you like to play the meat? Yeah. Okay. Meat is going in the food processor because you want it to get as fine as possible so it fits the mold of the loaf pan. Okay, it's done now. Good stuff. What we're gonna do is we are going to mix the ground beef with some other ingredients. We're gonna put in some onions, we're gonna put some garlic in there. What's a gyro beef without garlic and cumin? Ah, classic saying. Mix so you this want up. to make sure you mix it thoroughly. Okay, I'm going to douse it with a bit of salt and pepper. Yeah, yeah, hit it with salt and pepper, mate. Ooh, beautiful. Okay. You just hit a bit of pepper, good. Fresh crack, pepper! Yeah. So you should do more salt? Uh, I think we're good on the salt, buddy. You know what? Hit it again, bro. Nah, I'm just <laughs> You f I just want to see you're a very salty person. We're done mixing the meat, and the meat is now going to go into the loaf pan. Alright, and in it goes. Now we want to spread the meat and pack it really tightly into the loaf pan. So don't be afraid to put your meat inside of the edges, because when meat is cooked, it shrinks by 25%. My meat always shrinks by 25% in the oven. <clears throat> anyway, alright, the meat is going into the oven right now. It's uh, going in at 180 degrees for 35 minutes. That's 180 degrees Celsius, guys. Not we're Fahrenheit. Using, uh, we're using the metric system over here, guys. Meat is in the oven, 180 degrees for 35 minutes. Awesome. Now we're gonna start with the classic, quintessential New York City Halal Guys yellow rice. So the rice that Halal Guys uses in their NYC food cart is basmati rice. Now the great thing about basmati rice, bro, is that it is low in fat and gluten-free. Health! So we're gonna need a deep pot for the rice and we're gonna hit it with some How oil. Deep? How deep? How deep? How deep is your love, bro? How deep is your love? It's your love. How deep is your love? Alright, hit it with oil. And in go the onions. Uh, the onions are turning a light brown colour. Now we're going to add the garlic paste. Toss it in. Have you ever wondered why garlic turns green every time you like mince it? It's an enzyme in garlic which Whoa. reacts to sulphur and that's why it kind of has this blue-green discoloration. But it's actually fine for you bro. Look at you, being all Walter White up in this hall, guys. Oh, wow, I do love drugs. You got him! And now we're going to add our dry spices. Cardamom and cloves. Brilliant. Cardamom sucks, by the way. 
What's wrong with cardamom, bro? You don't like cardamom? Yeah, man. Why not? It just hides in your rice, in like your granny. Yeah. And it just hits you with like, eh. oh, it like kind of sneaks in there. It's right? just like, eh. yeah. Yeah, I gave you cardamom. It's taking on a really nice color now, really? and I think uh, it's about ready for the rice to go in. Awesome. So what you want to do is you want to toast the rice so it absorbs all the aroma. So once the rice starts to stick to the bottom of the pan, and your stop. So we're using chicken stock. If you're at home, you can use boiling cube. And give it a nice stir. So to get the halal guys quintessential yellow rice color, you want to put in some turmeric. So you can actually use saffron. Uh, the reason we're not using saffron is because saffron is expensive and we're broke. And we're still waiting for our pay raise. <sighs> yep. Yeah, you're waiting for a pay raise, buddy. Okay, bro, lastly, the cumin, cumin seeds. seeds. Hey, where is my little boy that's going into this pot? Oh, it's me, little witch. Oh, you come here, little boy. You are going in. Uh, I love brown boys for dinner. All right, we're going to cover it with uh, aluminum foil. All right, awesome, awesome. And you want to poke a little tiny hole. Can you get me scissors, brother? Boop. Why are we poking a tiny hole? So let's steam out. So it doesn't... Shoo! Let the steam out. Shoo! So the rice is going to cook for about 20 to 30 minutes on a medium heat. Now we're going to move on to the Hala Guy sauce. Funny thing is, bro, mm. no one actually knows what goes into the sauce. But is that going to stop us? Hell no. Nope. We're going to do it. We're going to put in the mayo. Okay, you're gonna put in a bit of vinegar. Yeah, yeah. A bit of lemon juice for a zestness. Oregano. A bit of pepper. A bit of salt. I'm gonna add in this thing called xanthan gum. It's gonna add viscosity to your sauce. But if you don't have xanthan gum, you can use cornstarch instead if you don't have xanthan gum. Okay. That's the fun part. But you don't want clumps of mayo. Well, my boy Saki is whisking the white sauce in a very uh, strange fashion. We're going to move on to the red sauce. Now, the red sauce is this red, viscous, angry looking sauce. Some say it has a Scoville level of 100,000. Put things in perspective, that's 40 times hotter than Tabasco. Gosh, if you can't take darn. Tabasco, don't go for the red sauce. Don't even Maybe think about it. a bit. Just a dash. Uh, first up, we're going to put in our dry red chilies. White distilled vinegar once again. How's that taste, bro? You want to taste it? Yeah, put it in my mouth, bro. How many fingers do you want? Uh, just one. Sure. Yeah, I'm fragile. You look like a tree. You know what? I'll give you three fingers. Don't give me three fingers. Ooh, good stuff. Be right back while I cut my hand off. All right. So we've got our dried chilies inside. We've got our white distilled vinegar. We're going to let this go in the blender. All right, the red sauce looks nice and red. red. <laughs> Classic guy, I love you, bro. I love you too. Oh my goodness. Both of the same feather play together. Okay. Now once all that's in, we're gonna add in mild chili powder. Next, we're gonna add in some paprika. 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 Pa -pa. Paprika. Pa -pa. Pa -pa. This is the kicker. This is some extra hot chili powder. Oops. 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 Ah. Red hot all right. Chili. Next up. A bit of uh, plastic. A little bit of plastic, uh, just to give it a little texture, you know. <laughs> once the uh, red chili powder is in, we're going to add in a bit of garlic paste. Garlic paste. And finally, once again, we got the Zenden gum. We're going to give this another whirl in the blender. I can see it really being 40 times hotter than the 100%, dude. That's... I was a bit skeptical. We got our special Halal Guys squeeze bottles brought to you proudly by Esmin. Yeah, back of the house, look at her. Being all cute. Yeah. Mm, shout out Esmin. Shout out Esmin. Mm, very yeah. pretty. Alright, and in the sauce goes. Alright, you know what bro? I'm gonna I'm gonna try the sauce again, man. How about we mix it? So you get a bit of the white. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The white. The bit of red. <laughs> okay, I think, it's, I think it's a kind of um, it's, it's like kind of chilly where mm. it developed. It's like a slow burn. It's like a nine month of baby slowly mm. growing in yes. tummy. Some, some might say. Okay, so what happens at the Hala guys is they thinly slice the meat on the rotisserie using like a shaver. Like an electric shaver. Like an electric yeah. shaver. So we don't have that. We are not. So we're going to use our knife and thinly slice them. Mm. 
and you want to get the meat as thin as possible. The ones that are halal guys are wafer thin. Nice healthy dollop of oil. The oil you want is oil with a high smoking point. So no olive oil or things like that. So we don't have a plancher, but we're going to use a non-stick pan, which is just as good to be honest. The oil is bubbling. Now we're going to put our beef. Get the meat in, bro. Hot yeah. Up. All the meat, Hot bro. Up. Don't stop. Don't stop. Yeah. More. Yeah, run that from the start. All right, meat's in. And now we're going to break it up into little pieces and agitate it. Now that the beef is taken on a nice dark brown caramelization, we're gonna hit it with the pita. Now they do this exact thing in halal, guys. They make a nice little mound. And we just wait, we just wait for the pita to absorb all of that juice, and all that juju, and all that aromas, that rich beef flavorings. All right, the beef is uh, done. The pitas are done as well. We're gonna take this onto the chopping board. Right, so now that you have your pita all soaked in the beef juice, we're gonna cut it into four. We're gonna put it here for a side, set aside for later. So now that we've portioned out our pita bread, we're gonna portion out our beef as well. Teamwork makes the dream work. 100% bro. So bro, this is where the magic happens. So we're gonna see it. put the rice first. Alright, let's unveil that. Whee! Look at how yellow. Yeah, look at that close up. Drop the rice first. Then put lettuce because Greenery is a great scenery. Let us continue. Right, some bit tomatoes and a bit of onions. Peppers, and of course the pita bread has been soaked in beef juice. Mm. Beef juice. Pita beef juice. And brother man, since you've been a good sport, I'm gonna let you do the honors. Pierce the resistance. The Pierce say, the yeah? resistance. Get him with a little bit of... Brother Izaku, it's time for the close-up. Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Like I always say, Uncle Sam, god damn. This looks amazing, bro. Should we dig in? Yeah, bro, 100%. Let's do it. Alright, let's go. Brother man, cheers. It's been an absolute pleasure. Hmm. Oh. Got their power, guys, in everything they created. The tangers of the white sauce. Mm. But it's not overwhelming. No, not at all. The rice cuts through it. Rice cuts through it. Rice is fragrant. Brothy, you got the onions nicely cutting through all the heaviness. The spice level is perfect for me. Take a whiff of pita bread. Oh man, mm. that's beef pita bread. Mm. This is amazing. It's so simple. You can try it at home. It's literally what? A few ingredients, you know, stuff you have around your house. But before you head to the kitchen, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And hit that notification bell. Yes. For the next saying? episode of Cooking Up Something Good, guys, stay tuned. I'm Adi. My name is Sakif, and we'll see you next episode. And now, we're gonna start with the classic. <laughs> Me falling apart. It's like my life. What's up with this knife? Producer, can I get a new knife, please? Producer! Can I get a new knife? Producer! In fact, we were supposed to go over before yeah. the pandemic hit, but... Didn't happen. Sorry. It didn't happen. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> the was... Yeah. <laughs> Don't whisper in my ear. Yeah. How the f***? No way. You didn't f***. Okay. Okay. okay.